Our regularly scheduled programming will not be seen this afternoon so that we can bring you the Philadelphia Phillies versus the San Diego Padres. everybody from Jack Murphy Stadium in San Diego. Welcome to Phillies baseball final game of the series. The Phils and the San Diego Padres. Kurt Schilling goes for the Phillies and Doug Brokale pitching for San Diego. Harry Callis with Rich Ashburn and Andy Musser on a pleasant afternoon for baseball and Whitey's try Whitey the Phillies are trying to avert a four game sweep here against the San Diego club playing without Fred McGriff. It's time to stop the bleeding. <laughs> yeah. I think it's kind of uh, shocked everybody here uh, and I know they know that games are tough to win here but they did figure without uh, McGriff without Sheffield is gone Tony Gwynn is limping doesn't seem to hurt his batting stroke but it's amazing uh, how dumb everybody's gotten all of a sudden you know the, the manager the pitching coach the hitting coach the third base coach all of a sudden uh, can't seem to do anything right well that's look Harry you have to uh, this is a tough time for the ball club. They have to play through it. No question that they do, and they will have a new addition just off the disabled list, Andy. Mariano Duncan back in there. And raring to go, Harry. He's had two weeks to mend that leg, which has been bothering him. I think the good news for the Phillies, though, is that uh, it gives Mickey Morandini a chance to rest a little bit. Mickey's got to be worn to a frazzle. He started every game now for a couple of weeks, and it gives the Phillies some versatility that they didn't have. Kurt Schilling will try to stop this losing streak. He'll be opposed by Doug Brokale. Starting lineups for you after these messages. The Phillies and the San Diego Padres is being brought to you by Bud Light. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, Make it a Bud Light. By Mellon PSFS, the official bank of the Phillies. By the Bell of Pennsylvania Yellow Pages. No other book can match it. A Bell Atlantic Company. And by Independence Blue Cross. Personal choice. The health plan that controls costs, not people. The Bud Light Spotlight's on Philly! Like with our Bud Light. Beach volleyball and Bud Light. Give me the flyers and a Bud Light. Cheesesteaks. 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 And I'm already with the Philly cheesesteaks. Hey. Anything goes well with Bud Light. We like Bud Light and Dan. I'm not going to mow the lawn. I'll hire him to mow the lawn and paint the garage. No, the garage. I'm dreaming big with Super 7. I'll buy a car. No, cars. Meet exotic people. Not him. Her. I'll be in the money. Moolah. Saturday. Super 7. If I can dream it, I can win it. your Quality Plus Ford dealer has the number one selling car in America, the Ford Taurus. For a limited time, drive the Taurus for just $249 a month for 24 months. Loaded with value, $249 per month is a great payment on Taurus. Hurry, it's only available at your number one selling Quality Plus Ford dealer. Five of the top ten sellers, all American built quality. See your Ford dealer today. Get behind the wheel and turn the key. Jim Fergosi's lineup this afternoon. Lenny Dykstra center field leads off. Mariano Duncan, second base, bats second. John Cruck at first base, hitting third. Dave Holland's third baseman, bats fourth. Jim Eisenreich in right field will hit fifth. Pete Incavilia, the left fielder, bats sixth. Todd Pratt catching today, hitting seventh. Kevin Stocker, the shortstop, bats eighth. And batting ninth and pitching Kurt Schilling. They are facing Doug Brokale. Big guy, uh... Two wins, four losses, 
6-0 ERA, five and a half strikeouts per nine innings, and about two and a third walks. Defensively behind Brokale, it'll be Arky Simpraco at third, Ricky Gutierrez at shortstop, Jeff Gardner at second, Billy Bean at first, doing the catching is Kevin Higgins in the outfield from left to right, Phil Plantier, Derek Bell, and Tony Gwynn. The umpires this afternoon, Richard Reeker will call the balls and strikes, Bob Davidson at first base, Bill Hahn at second, and Larry Ponsino at third. Lenny Dykstra will lead it off for the Phils. Dykstra hitting at 296. Leads the league in runs scored with 87. It is 11th home run here last night. That's a season high for him. He had hit 10 home runs in 1987 while playing for the Mets. Yeah! One strike to Dykstra. Brokale is 26 years old. He's from Lamar, Colorado. He was 4-2 and two in Las Vegas with a 3 6 ERA prior to being called up. This will be his 10th start for the Padres. Among our best, to Marion Buchanan in Wilmington, Delaware. Our son and family here. And a happy 89th birthday to Elwood Treffinger in Philadelphia. One ball and two strikes to Lenny Dykstra. Dykstra's fourth in the league in on-base percentage at 416, tied for the league lead now with teammate John Kruk and walks 73. Oh, close. Close. Full count. Field, but right at Plantier, who makes the grab. Well hit by Dykstra, caught by Phil Plantier. One down. Second base, the number seven, Mariano Duncan. Phil's lead is now three games over St. Louis, Montreal. A comeback win at Dodger Stadium last night, seven and a half back. Followed by the Cubs, Pirates, Florida, and New York. One ball and no strikes to Mariano Duncan. Duncan hitting at 267. Fouls it back. Cooney Jones a birthday in East Stroudsburg up in the Poconos. He's 76 today. Two balls and one strike. Foul back. Robert Kielbowitz of Cherry Hill, New Jersey, and Susan Ducier of Camarilla, California, were engaged here at the ballpark last night. One Philly fan, one Padre fan. Duncan is called out on strikes. That's two down, and that'll bring on John Cruck. Duncan thought it was inside. First baseman number 20. It was inside. Can't say much if it's a called third strike. Trucker batting at 347, tied for third in the league in hitting, leads the league in on base percentage, six in the league in slugging percentage. One ball and no strikes. The Overmiller family, Jim, Laurie, Simon, Celeste, from York, Pennsylvania, here at the ballpark. Stopping here to 
catch the Phillies on their way back from a Hawaiian holiday. Happy birthday to Gladys Stibbets in Kutztown. 66 on this beautiful July 18th, at least beautiful out here. Three balls and no strikes to John Crutt. Just took kind of a half swing of the 3-0 pitch. It's three and one. Yeah, it was too high to really get good wood on. He had the green light, but he was looking for something better to hit. Tried to hold his swing. I guess you wonder a little bit why you hit the 3-0 green light here in the first inning, but got the walk anyway. His 74th, he leads the league in bases on balls. Crockett first with two outs for Dave Hollins, who's hitting at 280. Evie, Stan, Sue, and Mike from Lancaster here cheering for the Phils. Cyrus and Beulah Zeger and Shemokin married 63 years today. John Crock first base, two down. Strike to Hollins. One game is final. Atlanta beat Pittsburgh today 2-0. Pirates got 13 hits in that game and did not score a run. Steve Avery wanted. Two strikes to Hollins. Houston, after falling behind 3-0 in the first, has taken the lead on St. Louis 5-4. They're now in the fifth inning at St. Louis. Ball and two strikes. Eldon and Horace Woodward in Middletown, Delaware. Anniversary today. They're both in their 80s. Two and two. Final game between the Phils and the Padres. Best the Phils can do is break even. Must win this game. Finish six and six with the Padres this year. ball chopped softly Gardner just did not get Hollins an infield single as Hollins always runs out ground balls hard and beats it out for an infield single oh, I tell you that was close he got a good call it was the right call from Bob Davidson so the Phillies with two men on base and two outs for Jim Eisenreich. Eisenreich hitting 348. Been a good hitter with runners in scoring position. 377 his average with runners in scoring position. Yeah! Lefty Tomasino, 78 today and our best to Joe O'Loughlin in Delaware County Memorial Hospital recuperating from surgery. Yeah. On the outside corner nothing in two to Jim Eisenreich. He's made two good pitches on Eisenreich with a curve and a slider and a fastball. with his slider inside one and two Rose Croyer in Redding 97 today bouncing ball to Gardner Eisenreich retired so are the Phils in the first no runs one hit no errors and two left at the end of one half Phils nothing Padres coming to bat it's summer clearance guys and here's the catch with these rebates I don't want us to yell and scream like everyone else big rebates on Excel oh yeah 
We just got a ton of Excels with $600 rebates that knock them down to $62.99. With two years no-cost service, about all they pay for is gas. With these rebates, we'll let everyone else yell. Now let's get out there and sell some cars. Please? Now get limited-time Hyundai summer clearance rebates of up to $2,000 on Sonata V6. All right, listen up. We have a fugitive that's been on the run for 90 minutes. What I want out of each and every one of you is a hard target search of every gas station, residence, warehouse, farmhouse, hen house, outhouse, or dog house in this area. Put that gun down! I didn't kill my wife! Harrison Ford is The Fugitive. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, August 6th at a theater near you. All fans receive a great-looking poster, compliments of Thriftway. The teams wear uniforms from 1933. The Phillies play the Pirates on Nostalgia Day, Sunday, August 1st at 1.35. Call 463-1000. Jim Riggleman, San Diego lineup this afternoon. Jeff Gardner, second base, leads off. Billy Bean at first base, hits second. Tony Gwynn, right fielder, batting third. Phil Plantier, left fielder, hits fourth. Eric Bell, center fielder, batting fifth. Kevin Higgins, a catcher, hits sixth. Ricky Gutierrez at shortstop, batting seventh. Archie Sinfraco at third base, hits eighth. And Doug Brokow pitching, hitting ninth. They are facing Kurt Schilling. Schilling, a uh, little over six strikeouts per nine innings, uh, two and a third walks per nine. He's eight wins, six losses, ERA 4.51. Dave Hollins at third, Kevin Stocker at short, Mariano Duncan at second base, John Cruck at first behind him. Todd Pratt doing the catching. That ball's pretty well hit, but a foul ball into the bullpen off the bat of Gardner. Keating Cavillia's in left field, Lenny Dykstra in center, and Jim Eisenreich in right. Birthday wishes to Catherine Smythe in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And the Engagement that I announced that happened here at the ballpark last night. Robert Kilbowitz of Cherry Hill and Susan Newseer of California. Didn't happen. <laughs> Must have had a rough night. <laughs> Called it off? <laughs> I, I guess. But Robert is here enjoying the ball game. No balls and two strikes. She probably wanted to go to the beach. That's <laughs> they discovered early. <laughs> Nothing in common. One ball and two strikes. Schilling has good numbers against San Diego lifetime. Four and two with a 201 career ERA. Tapper shilling on it in a hurry and tags the runner off in the base path. So Gardner is out one down. That'll bring on Billy Bean. Toronto got a ninth inning run on a home run by Willie Canati, his first, and that gives the Blue Jays a 4 3 win over Kansas City. Keep them in at least a tie for first place. Pat Hankin won his 12th. The Polito Pichardo was the loser. Strike to Billy Bean, who's hitting a 250. Roy Stewart and Copley, PA 77 today. Fly ball, center field, Dykstra right there. Billy Bean's retired. That's two outs, and it'll bring up Tony Gwynn. Gwynn is tied for six in the league in hitting. Tony batting at 338. Been a good hitter against Schilling lifetime. 462 his average against Schilling, including a home run. Schilling today trying to halt a personal five game losing streak. His last win coming on June 11th at Shea Stadium. One ball and one strike. His ERA has almost doubled in the last six weeks. He 
was down there at 2.7 something, and now it's 4.5. I chopped to Hollins at third. Wins retired. A 1 2 3 inning for Schilling. No runs, hits, errors, and none left after one. Nothing, nothing. We know how to help you save during the Dodge 93 model clearance. Take this shadow. It comes with all kinds of stuff, like AM FM stereo, automatic, air conditioning, and $13.50 in total savings. That's a lot of car for under 10-1. Is this correct? Absolutely. The factory authorized 93 model clearance. See your nearest Dodge dealer today. Birth sells balloons. Bob sells balloons. Birth sells wacky gifts. Bob sells wacky gifts. Brit delivers. Bob delivers. So if Bob's got everything Brit's got, why is Brit busy and Bob not? Now, do you suppose Brit's got a big color ad in the book 9 out of 10 people use? The genuine Bell of Pennsylvania Yellow Pages. 9 out of 10 use it. No other book can match it. A ballot might be coming. People come in and say, why five grades of gasoline? I tell them, Offering only three grades would be like selling suits in small, medium, and large. Some people would get a good fit. Some could use a little tailoring. So if you want to know why we give you all these choices, think about the guy who needs a 41 long and picture him wearing a 39 short. After what I think of play, the Phil's nothing and San Diego nothing. Upcoming telecasts of Phillies baseball tomorrow night and Tuesday night from Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. Airtime will be 10.30 for both games here on PHL 17. Peter Cavalia leads off for the Phillies here in the second. Hits the ball into deep right center field. That's a gapper off the fence. And Cavalia will get two on it, a stand-up double. So Pete Incavelia, who had been struggling, halts an 0 for 23 skid and ripped that ball to the opposite field. Been taking a lot of extra batting practice. He jumped right on that first fastball. It was up and over the plate. Good pitch to hit for Pete. He's a he's kind of a worrier about his hitting, and even when he's hitting well, he's a, he worries about it. Most. Most hitters always think that a slump is right around the corner. Well, he had his, that's for sure. Here's Todd Pratt. Pratt hitting a 214. Field win coming on can't get it base hit in Cavilia late start where will hold at third base. Brad a looping single to right and the Phillies have runners at first and third with nobody out. Well, Pratty was trying to move the ball to the right side to move the run. He got a little bonus there. He got jammed, but in Cavilia had to had to hold with Gwen's strong arm. A Stocker here is a big hitter because you have Schilling coming up next. So Stocker's going to have to probably put the ball in play somewhere. Stocker's hitting 303, but most of that is from the right side. He's six for 11 right handed, hitting just 182 left handed. One ball and no strikes. Runners first and third. Nobody out here in the second. Ball in two strikes. High fastball. That's the one 
they throw him when they want to try to strike him out. It's the one he just missed. Fouls it out of play, still one and two. Third, Todd Pratt at first. Into right center field. It's going to drop for a hit. Coming in to score is Incavelia. And the Phillies lead it 1 0 on an RBI single by Kevin Stocker. Kevin didn't get much of it, but he got enough to a little Texas leaguer here. Off the end of the bat a little bit, the, uh, he puts Schilling up there in a bunning situation. Pretty good at bat by Stocker, really, after getting down and falling two strikes. It was important that he get his bat on the ball. He did and got a base hit on it. Schilling has six sacrifices this year. He's hitting him 135. Mm. Oh, Ooh, and away and down the right field line. Prattle scores. Stocker will hold at third. Schilling ends up at second. They had Pratt easily at third base with any kind of throw by Brocal, but he threw it away. I think that's a ball that should have been caught uh, by the shortstop who was covering. That was a rotation play. Uh, it was a high throw, but shortstop has to catch this ball, Harry. He just, you know, he didn't get his glove up there. He threw it right by him. That, that, that ball, I think, has to yeah, be it's caught. Not, good. not that far from him. No. It? He'll get an error, I'm sure, the pitcher. Yeah, that's an error on Broke Gale. So the Phils, who have had a bad defensive series, get some help with the Padres' defense here. One ball and no strikes to Lenny Dykstra, who lined out his first time up. Bill and Catherine sets her birthdays today. Bill's 89, Catherine 85. <laughs> one ball and one strike to Dykstra. McConnell in Philadelphia 63 on this July 18th. Two balls and a strike. Dora Seaman in Coatesville 92. Missing inside, it's three and one. Dykstra will try to pull the ball here. Still nobody out in the inning to score a run and, and move Schilling to third. Dykstra walks. His 74th walk tied with teammate John Cruck for the league lead. Second walk given up by Bro Kale. Phillies have him loaded for Mariano Duncan and Mike Rourke, the pitching coach, coming out to talk to Bro Kale. Yeah, this copyrighted telecast is presented by authority of the Phillies and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form without the express written consent of the Phillies. A special birthday today for Julie McMullen. Her 80th birthday, and she lives in Morgantown, West Virginia. Her family is going to tape this and send it to her. Family TDs in National Park, New Jersey, the mayors in Florida, and the, 
Denardo's in Philadelphia all sending these birthday greetings to Julie McMillan. Gary Taylor, a right-hander, starting to throw in the Padre bullpen. Taps softly to second base. Ooh. Juggled safe all around. The Phillies lead at three to nothing. Still nobody out of the inning. That'll be an error on Gardner, but give Duncan a run batted in. Gardner was only going to get one out. Anyhow, he was going to get it at first, but didn't get any of them. It kind of bounced up on him there a little bit and trickled through the legs. It's amazing. Almost as though the Padres are apologizing <laughs> for what they did the first three games. Well, the Phillies had at San Diego some runs with some shaky defense and the Padres have certainly helped the Phils here in the second one strike to Kruk who walked his first time up now he should try to do the same thing as pull the ball score a run move the other runners he pulls the ball a second but that might be a double play and is so Kruk grounds into a 4 6 3 double play but Schilling scores no RBI and the Phillies now lead it four to nothing. Dykstra at third base. Third base Collins. And that is a big double play for the Padres because with the hitters coming up, you had Cruck there and now Hollins. You know, the Phillies were looking at a five, six run inning if Cruck had not hit into the double play. Of course, he hit the ball sharply. Otherwise, he wouldn't have hit into the double play, but it was right at the second baseman, Gardner. One ball and no strikes to Dave Hollins. He got an infield single his first time up. Beats a foul back, one and one. Gary Stickle here from King of Prussia along with his nephew, Sean Portnoy. I understand that Portnoy had a complaint downstairs. <laughs> Portnoy's no. complaint? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? One ball of two strikes. <laughs> but he ought to write a book about that. <laughs> One and two to Dave Hollins. Struck him out to retire the side, but the Phillies score four in the inning on three hits. Two Padre errors, one man left. We go to the bottom of the second, four nothing Phillies. Our first baseman, John Crook, and the Phillies continue their quest in the West as they battle the Los Angeles Dodgers tomorrow on VHL 17. Tommy Lasorda's Dodgers are a big hit behind the bat of rookie Mike Piazza. But Lenny Dykstra and the Fighting Phils are going to give them a devil of a time in the City of Angels. It's the Phillies and the Dodgers tomorrow and Tuesday at 10.30, only on VHL 17. We play the Phillies on 17. Phils Dodgers tomorrow at 10.30. Our values are changing these days. People are reconsidering what to do with their money. And while just about everyone else is trying to sell you a $15,000 automobile with some interesting standard features, we'd like you to consider an automobile from under $7,000. With some interesting options on what to do with the rest of your money. The Excel from Hyundai. Cars that make sense. Roy Rogers' new family buckets are perfect for busy parents. Pick up a bucket of Roy's incredible fried chicken, a bucket of juicy roast chicken, mm. or a bucket with both. Mm. Now just $7.99 each. Plus, every bucket is capped with a free flying disc. It'll keep your kids entertained for hours. Uh-oh. Yeah! Okay, minutes. Boom. One of the kind. Roy Rogers. Yeah. Oh. 
Loosen your tie, take off your coat, roll up your sleeves. It's a business person special, Thursday, July 29th at 1235. Compliments of Mellon BSFS. Go ahead, you deserve a break. Call 463-1000. Our third business person special of the year coming up Thursday, July 29th against the St. Louis Cardinals at 1235. Head-to-head -head matchup with the running Redbirds. Always fun in the sun. Compliments of Mellon PSFS. Order your tickets now for that business person special July 29th by calling 463-1000 or stop by the Center City Ticket Office of Mellon PSFS Broad and Chestnut Streets. One ball and one strike to Phil Plantier. Two and one to him. Plantier hitting at 237. Got him this winter from the Boston Red Sox for pitcher Jose Melendez. Boston came back to win their game against Seattle 7 to 6 today, staying two behind Toronto. Baltimore stays a half game behind Toronto with a 7 to 2 win today at home over Minnesota. Struck to deep left center field. Dykstra drops the ball, picked up by Incavilia, and Plantier ends up at second. But he usually catches those, but couldn't hang on to that one. I have to think he might have been having a little trouble here with the sun. He's got leather on it. And he'll he'll tell you, you get leather on a ball, you should catch it. I guess he'll start out a double, huh? They haven't scored yet. They are going to score at a two base hit for Phil Plantier. And the batter will be Derek Bell, who's hitting at 262. 13 homers. He's knocked in 44. Boston game against Seattle. Mike Greenwell was beamed by Randy Johnson, the big left-hander for Seattle, in the first inning. It's under observation at Fenway Park. Right of the batting helmet. No balls and two strikes to Derek Bell. In the seventh at St. Louis, the Astros still leading the Cardinals five to four. Fouls it out of play. It's still nothing in two to Derek Bell. here at second base and nobody out here in the second. Bills leave it four nothing. Oh. Laid off a high pitch one and two. the ball to Pete Incavillia in left field for out number one. That'll bring on Kevin Higgins, a catcher. He's hitting a 263. Pesky hitter in this series, Higgins. Yes, he has been. Ball a little bit high for a ball, one and nothing. One ball and one strike to Kevin Higgins. Chase 
the high fastball. One and two. The Lays will move from here to Los Angeles. Three game series with the Dodgers. Ben Rivera against Pedro Estacio tomorrow night. Danny Jackson and Ramon Martinez on Tuesday. And Tommy Green and Oral Hershiser Wednesday. Just missed with the backdoor breaking ball. Two and two. And on the candlestick for four with the Giants. Trying to figure out a pitch to put Higgins away with. He's chased uh, one high fastball. Fouled off another one. He hurt the Phillies uh, on off speed pitches in this series. Got him with a high fastball. First strikeout for Schilling. That's two down here in the second, and that'll bring on Ricky Gutierrez. Gutierrez hitting at 267. Ricky Gutierrez. Chilling has an excellent fastball here in the early going. Locked in the air to right should be easy for Eisenreich and is, and that will retire the side. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one left. The other two, four nothing fills. The 93 Pontiac Grand Am. You may never see payments this low again. You may never see a price like this again. Don't miss the savings during the 93 Pontiac Closeout. What could a minute cost if your 800 service goes down? If you're a player on Wall Street, $910,000. But with us, you can stay in the game. Introducing the AT&T 800 service, never miss a call guarantee. Now if there's a problem, we can reroute your calls in less than a second. Sign up for the never miss a call guarantee. It's the number one reason AT&T 800 service is always the smartest play. AT&T, the best in the business. Guaranteed. Sometimes when you're really thirsty, nothing satisfies like water. But it's got to be the best. Pure New Hampshire mountain spring water from Castle Springs. You don't have to do a thing to it. Just add lips. Jim Eisenreich leads off for the Phillies. It's a fly ball to left field deep. Plantier backtracking makes the catch right in front of the fence. Eisenreich gave it a good ride to the opposite field, but caught by Flamteer. A trivia question of the afternoon. Can you name the only pitcher in the decade of the 80s to pitch over 300 innings in a season? Only one in the 80s pitched over 300 innings. Incavelia doubled to start that four-run second inning. One ball and no strikes. Go 
Got it off the end of the bat to shallow center, and Gardner has a long way to go out, but makes the grab. Gardner had a long way to go. The ball was hit off the end of the bat. It fooled uh, Bell in center field momentarily. He would have been there, though, to make the catch. He plays fairly shallow. Brings on Todd Pratt. He singled and scored a run his first time up. Birds have regained the lead at home against Houston, six to five. Two balls and no strikes to Pratt. Patty will be setting on that, sitting on that fastball, trying to drive it. And one. Three balls and a strike. First base side, still three and two to Pratt. Pratt called out on the strikes, third strikeout for Brokale. Phillies nothing across in the third, four nothing Phillies. The new Lexus GS Luxury Performance Sedan. It not only corners better than the BMW 540i, but it rides smoother. Of course, if you still insist on feeling every pebble in the road, be our guest. See the GS at your New Jersey, Delaware, Pennsylvania area Lexus dealer. The price is within reach, too. Recently, an object was sighted. It was big. It was just big. Too big to measure with a human eye. They say it could show up anywhere. Whoa! Did you see that? Pizza Hut! Bigfoot from Pizza Hut. Out of sight, big! 21 slices. I can handle it. On a totally different crust. Whoa! For a ridiculously low $10.99. <laughs> it's a legendary value. Bigfoot from Pizza Hut. The biggest pizza you can get delivered. The Phillies look to cook a Canadian goose when they play Montreal Tuesday, August 10th and Wednesday, August 11th at 7.35 and Thursday, August 12th at 12.35 at a business person special. Then Bonilla, Doc, and the Mets make a house call Friday, August 13th, 7.35, Saturday, August 14th, 7.05 and Sunday, August 15th at 1.35 when kids 14 and under get a free Phillies road jersey. Call 463-1000. This afternoon's Phillies game on PHL 17 is brought to you in part by Budweiser, the king of beers. It reminds you, friends, know when to say when. By the Pennsylvania Lottery. Lottery proceeds benefit older Pennsylvanians. And by Pizza Hut. Call Pizza Hut delivery now and have your pizza by the sixth inning. Arky Sanfranco leads it off for the Padres here in the third. He's hitting 200 right on the nose. Our trivia question of the afternoon, who was the only pitcher in the decade of the 80s to pitch over 300 innings in a season? But that Randy Jones. Good guess. Incorrect, however. Good friend of yours, Whitey. If he's a pitcher, he's not a good friend of mine. <laughs> oh, yes, he is. 
not lefty. That is correct. Lefty? Steve Carl. Pitched over 300 innings in 1980. One ball and one strike. Ran into lefty about a month ago in Philadelphia. Looking good. Knocked down by Schilling. He recovers in time to throw out Sinfraco. Nice play by uh, Schilling here to stop the ball. I think Duncan would have been able to feel it had it uh, gotten by the pitcher. Should be on right. the glove hand and Jim Fregosi and Mark Anderson are coming out. Hit him, on, hit him on the heel of the hand. Kind of bruise him a little. Well, Sunday, August 1st, when the Phillies take on the Pittsburgh Pirates, we turn back the clock to 1933. The Phillies and the Buckos will wear uniforms from 33, and all fans receive a great looking poster. Featuring the Phillies offensive players compliments of Thriftway nostalgia game against the Buccos. That'll be on Sunday August 1st at 135 for tickets call 463 1000. Brokale the pitcher of the batter one strike to him. Try to drag Buck and get it right back to Schilling who throws him out. Two down, it'll bring on the top of the order, Jeff Gardner. Second baseman, number 12, Jeff Gardner. Gardner topped out to Kurt Schilling on assist at his first time up. Strike to him. Line drive hit to center field. Second hit given up by Schilling. Gardner is a two out base runner for Billy B. First baseman, Billy B. Beaton flied out to center field his first time up. And with Cincinnati's over, the Reds have beaten Florida five to three. And a rain delay at Wrigley Field, Chicago. The Cubs are pounding on Colorado ten to two. No balls and a strike to Billy B. Strikes to Billy B. His mother is a foul, still nothing in two. Bills on top, four nothing. San Francisco leading the Mets in the third at Candlestick, 3 0. And Montreal up on the Dodgers in the third, 1 0. In the left field, Incavilia to his left makes the running grab. That'll retire the side. No runs, a hit, no errors, and one left. Andy Musser and Chris Wheeler come your way in the fourth after three 4 0 fills. Jersey, I'm buying. 
I drink Bud Light because I'm 245 pounds of U.S. steel and sex appeal. He's unbelievable. Jersey girls dig Bud Light. Bud Light is made in New Jersey. You know, we own that Statue of Liberty. They stole it from us. Yo, bartender, Bud Light. You want one too, don't you? <laughs> How about a Bud Light? Yo, it's Jazzy stuff. It's Bud Light, you know? Bud Light, Bud Light, up, up, and away! Hey! Skyscrapers are built to stand indefinitely. Monuments to technical achievement. At Infinity, they wanted luxury cars that would endure. So they patented new methods of construction to reduce body flex. So seams and joints stay tight. Visit your Infinity showroom and drive the new Q45 to see how rock solid it feels. Better yet, drive an old one. Lease one of the world's most advanced automobiles, now at a very special rate for a limited time. Loosen your tie, take off your coat, roll up your sleeves. It's a business person special, Thursday, July 29th at 1235. Compliments of Mellon BSFS. Go ahead, you deserve a break. Call 463-1000. Stop dreaming and live the life of a Philly at Philly's Dream Week. One week in Clearwater Beach, Florida this January to laugh and play with Ennis, Taylor, Hebner, Wise, and many more. So call now, 215-938-1200. Space is limited, 938-1200. The Cardinals will welcome the Phillies back to Veterans Stadium. That'll start on Tuesday, July 27th, the first of a three-game series, which includes a business person special on Thursday. Then the Pirates for the weekend, and that concludes with the Nostalgia Game, Sunday, August 1st. The number to call for your tickets is 463-1000. Stocker with a foul bunt. As we move to the fourth inning, it's 4-0 Phillies. Stocker has an RBI single in this ball game. The Phillies have scored in the second inning in every single game in this series. That's the good news. The bad news is the Padres have scored in the seventh inning in every game in this series and a bunch of them. No balls and two strikes on Stocker. Stocker's average at 324 prior to getting his RBI single in the second inning today. Stocker had been just one for his last 12. Back through the middle off the foot of Brocale. <laughs> safe at first. Kick safe. Really? He did that on purpose too. He just kicked his foot out there and tried to knock that one down and and I guess he's all right. <laughs> That's pretty risky. Watch this. Now, right back through the middle off a break, but watch him just kick his foot out here. Whoop. He did that on purpose just to see what would happen, and he kicked it away. What happened was the Phillies got their sixth hit, and now Mike Rourke and Jim Riggleman are going to pay a visit to the mound and, and that, see whether Brocale is okay. That made a heck of a thud when it hit his foot, but uh, in fact, he kind of smiled a little bit as he did. He could see him. Uh, how he reacted to it. So he'll just get uh, he's showing uh, Sinfraco what he just did. I think he's a little bit of a free spirit from what I've heard about him. In fact, today the Padres were getting ready to take the field, and all of a sudden Brokale came running out by himself. And you get the feeling that maybe they digged him into running out there, saying that it was time to go. And he turned around, there was nobody behind him. That was really interesting. When he looked around and saw that there was nobody there, he slowed down plenty. Well, now Schilling, and he sacrificed once today, and they. Brokale threw it away. Schilling wound up at second base. He's going to try to bunt again, and he fouls it off. We have the Houston-St. Louis score now at 6-6 as the Astros have come back to tie that game there in the eighth inning. Yeah, Mark Witten hit a two-run home run in the bottom of the seventh to give St. Louis a 6-5 lead. And, and Parker just doubled in a run scoring service. That's Rick Parker, who the Phillies used to have. Schilling gets it down, but the ball goes foul, and there was no attempt to grab it by Higgins before it did go foul. Houston just disabled Casey Candell and brought Rick Parker up from their Triple-A Tucson club. Parker was in the Giants organization last year. Well, it must be hot there in St. Louis. We got word earlier today that Biggio left that game due to the heat. Feel for the people out in that Midwest, too, in that St. Louis area, north of there along the Mississippi. What horrible flooding oh, they've had. Looking for the bunt again. Going to be tough for him to get it down, too, with Sinfraco 
really literally crashing in from third base. And he's a strikeout victim. Schilling could not do it this time. Strikeout number four for Broke Kale. He got him to bail on a breaking ball. His first reaction was to flinch on a curveball. Watch him flinch. See right there he flinches and now he tries to come back and butt the ball but his timing was gone at that point. Lenny Dykstra stands in. Lenny has lined the left and walked. Phillies are up four nothing. Lenny has a five game hitting streak. Dykstra takes it high ball one. During his five game hitting streak Lenny at 333 scored runs in four of the five games and a total of five runs during that span. Hits it solidly but Bell is stationed in the right spot. He didn't move. Dykstra lines to Bell second out of the inning. What do you say when you hit the ball that hard and the guy's right there? What can you do? Lenny said two balls hard today. He led off the game with a line drive to the left fielder Plantier. Lenny uh, has been playing very, very well offensively. Derek Bell, we've pointed out all weekend, the center fielder plays very shallow on everybody. So he takes a lot of hits away on, on balls uh, that would be in front of other center fielders. The hitter is Duncan. Mariano is 0 for 2 with one run batted in. First day back to work after two weeks on the DL. Fergosi happy to have Duncan back because he gives him that extra infielder that he's been missing. And also, Duncan's also a guy that's been through a pennant race with the Cincinnati Reds, and he knows what it takes. And as Jim said before the ball game, he's one of those guys that seems to get the key hit. Yeah. I mean, people uh, knock his defense, and obviously he's not as good a defense as shortstop as Stocker. Nobody knows that better than the manager. But he now gives him uh, another guy to play at short once in a while or play at second base for Morandini periodically. Called strike. During the time that he was on the DL, the Phillies' backup second baseman was Kim Batiste. And how often did he play there? Never. <laughs> Not an inning. Yeah, Morandini was the Iron Man out there during that long stretch of games with all those innings. The lead taken by Stocker distracted Brokale. He started to break for some reason. I don't know what that was about. Brokale does what you should do as a pitcher. See Stocker break, just step off. To become a fifth infielder, and if that runner had broken too soon, then you can get him in a rundown. We're gonna see if he would do that again. Wasn't able to catch him. Bob Davidson eyeing him warily at first base on that move that he just made to see if there could uh -huh. be any balk involved. If there is, he will detect it. Here's a bouncer up the middle, and Gutierrez slows it but doesn't play it. Stocker realizes where the ball winds up and takes third base. Good base running by Stocker, and frankly, Gutierrez should have caught that. He should have two errors on him today. They should have given the error on the bunt earlier in the game to him. This guy's been terrific all weekend, too. Gutierrez has made all the plays, and today he's a little shaky. There it is again. He had to play up the middle, and it just kicked off the heel of the glove. Well, the Padres have their third error of the ball game. These teams have taken turns playing poorly in this series. Yeah, but the Phillies have taken more turns. <laughs> That's why they're down three games in this series. Here's John Kruk. He has walked and grounded into a double play. A run scored on that double play ground ball, but it also took the heart out of an inning where the Phillies got four runs, but might well have had more. John had the night off last night, save for a pinch hitting appearance. Two outs in the inning with runners at first and third. On Kruk. John's average at 345. Ball gets away from Higgins, run scores, 5 0 Phillies. To second base goes Duncan, it's a wild pitch. 
Phillies early on in this one are having a lot of good things happen for them. Uh, the Padres are playing terrible today, and they've taken advantage of a lot of it. Stocker, as Andy mentioned, really good base running to get the third when that ball kept, kicked off Gutierrez's glove. So as a result, he's in position to score when the wild pitch bounces away from Higgins. Kevin Stocker does not make many mistakes. Higgins backhands that ball when he should have, uh, you know, obviously turned the glove the other way. Brooke takes a ball, and now it's three balls and one strike on John. And for those who didn't like how Kruk reacted in the All-Star game when Randy Johnson threw that ball over his head, they, they might have a different reaction today after knowing that Johnson hit a batter, Greenwell, and Greenwell is being tested right now for, for all his senses, I guess you might say. Hit Mike Greenwell, and there's a Kerry Taylor warming up again. Hit Mike Greenwell in the head on the air flap with an 0-2 pitch today, and according to the wire service story, they had had uh, words earlier in the season. Out of play by John. Kirk batting here with a full count. The Phillies have out of the run. It's 5-0 Phillies. Greenwell, by the way, is a left-handed hitter. It's hard to left field. It's a base hit. Duncan will score. The Phillies lead at 6 nothing on an RBI single by Kruk. A lot of Phillies fans here all weekend trying to cheer for the Phillies. Now, with all the military people around here, you figure there's a lot of retired Philadelphians as Kruk lines that base hit to left field. They're giving them something to cheer about today, although the Phillies have led in all these games anyway. But here they have a six run lead now six to nothing as Dave Holland steps in. Here comes Riggleman that might be it for his young right hander. He's already made the point he wants Taylor in this ball game. So Brokale who left his last start. Last Sunday because of a rib cartilage strain leaves this one because he's given up six runs. He lasts three and two thirds innings. We've got a pitching change in San Diego. We'll be right back. From 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue to right here in Pennsylvania, people are searching for new choices in health care. The costs are strangling me. Which inspired Independence Blue Cross and Pennsylvania Blue Shield to create the new personal choice. It seems like you always have to give something up. A health plan that gives people the benefits of an HMO. No one has the right to tell me what doctor I can see. Without asking them to give up their freedom. Personal choice, the health plan that controls costs, not people. like having a Phillies ticket window come right to your home. Call 463-1000 and reserve your tickets in advance. No rushing, no waiting, no hassle. 463-1000. It's like having a Phillies ticket window right in your home. Top of the fourth, two outs. Phillies lead the Padres six to nothing. Travel arranged through U.S. Air with more non-stops to more Florida cities than any other airline. Non-stop to Florida, U.S. Air begins with you. Right-hander Kerry Taylor now takes over for San Diego. The Phillies have seen him in relief before. Taylor is 0-5, a 7.59 earned run average. He is appearing in his 18th ball game. Seven of those games he was starter, all the others in relief. Taylor is from Bemidji, Minnesota, 22 years of age. They got him from the Twins, December. The Rule 5 draft. Where did it all go wrong, Brokale wonders? Yeah, uh, at least three of these runs, I think, are unearned against him. Two were in the second inning and one here in this inning. Pitch to Hollins is low. Dave has picked up an infield single and struck out. and no strikes. 
Taylor does not have a good walk strikeout ratio. He has walked 32 and struck out 24 in 40 innings. Those are not good numbers. Very high pop up middle of the diamond. See who wants this one. Gardner. And finally the third out from San Diego's point of view. The Phillies tack on two in the inning on two hits. There was an error. And the Phillies leave two on base. Six nothing Phillies. Michael Keaton's a crime boss with heart. Tell me another gang in New York that's got a dental plan. He's got friends in high places. Nobody's going to say nothing. Politicians in his pocket. Have yourself a second home, man. Huh? Thanks, Johnny. And enemies on his tail. It's an 88 Magnum. It shoots through schools. Danny DeVito and Mary Lou Henner co-star in a movie so funny it's criminal. Johnny Dangerously. Monday at 8 on PHL 17. gun protected. Nothing works better on your car's leather, vinyl, and rubber. It can turn just about anything into a great-looking car. Nice car. What, this pile of junk? Give it the gun with Son of a Gun. Son of a Gun and One-Step Tire Care. Now available at Pep Boys. We know how to help you save during the Dodge 93 model clearance. Check out the lowest-priced six-passenger car out there. Dodge Spirit with air and no extra charge to keep your family happy. For a total of over $2,500 in savings, a great value at around 12 one Is this correct? Absolutely. The factory authorized 93 model clearance. See your nearest Dodge dealer today. Monday, August 2nd at 6 o'clock is the annual ALS autograph auction party at Veterans Stadium. All the current Phillies will be there. You must get your tickets in advance. No tickets will be sold the night of the event. Here's the number for your tickets, 4631000. All kinds of different events that night, including auctioning the 92 uniforms and the 1933 uniforms from the Nostalgia Day game the day before. So we'll see you at the annual autograph auction party on Monday, August 2nd. Kurt Schilling has held the Padres to just two hits and leads 6 nothing. One ball, one strike on Gwynn. Tony 0 for 1 today. That was a ground ball to third. Gave Gwynn time then when Schilling was in his windup. Bouncer on the right side. Kruk plays it. He'll race Gwynn. And he gets there. That's one guy on bum wheels racing another guy on bum wheels. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a track meet you just saw. <laughs> They both give it their all. Now Plantier steps in. He's the guy that got the double off of Dykstra's glove. First hit for San Diego as a leadoff batter in the second. Plantier hits it a ton into center field, but Dykstra's going to get it. On the track as he does so, though, Plantier is out. This is not as tough a Sunday as uh, a lot of Sundays are here at uh, Jack Murphy Stadium because there are clouds. There are little wispy white clouds around today. Most of the time when you play here, day games, it's that bright blue sky, that real high sky, and the outfielders have a lot more trouble with balls in the air. I don't think they'll have as much trouble today. How did you describe those clouds? <laughs> wispy. Wispy? Yeah, they're, uh, what do you call them, cirrus. I think from the old meteorology class. Did you pass that? I think I did, yeah. Because I know how you feel about, uh, you know, me. <laughs> oh, broken bat loop for down to third base. Hollins gets him and Bell goes on one pitch. Schilling gets the last two hitters on one pitch each. Down go the Padres, 6 nothing Phillies. Everybody knows what a musical note sounds like. But what does a note look like? When it comes from the audio system of the Lexus ES300, it looks like the original, which means it sounds like the original. 
it's often taken for granted. Yet it's as precious as the very air we breathe. It's called freedom. And it's what inspired Independence Blue Cross and Pennsylvania Blue Shield to create the new personal choice. A health plan that offers people the low costs of an HMO without asking them to give up what they value most. Their freedom. Personal choice. The health plan that controls costs, not people. Flyers and a Bud Light. Cheese steaks. Cheese steaks. Cheese steaks. And I'm already with the Philly cheese steaks. Anything goes well with Bud Light. We like Bud Light and Dan. Phillies so far in the second inning, an RBI hit by Kevin Stocker. Then Kurt Schilling get knocked in a run on that uh, sacrifice error, and then an error by Gardner on a ball hit by Duncan, and Puck grounded into a double play, made it four to nothing in the fourth. A wild pitch, and an RBI hit by Kruk, and those are the Phillies' six runs thus far, Andy. They're trying for more here in the fifth inning with Eisenreich leading off and taking a strike. Eisenreich has grounded the second and hit one to the track in left field. A ball that wasn't played particularly well by Plantier at the outset, but he made a nice recovery. Eisenreich hitting at 344. He's done a tremendous job. He has hit in seven straight ball games as a starter. Here's one bounce to second base. Gardner plays it off the hop and throws him out. One down. Eisenreich's been going through some bats in the last couple games. He just broke another one as Vince Vukovic takes it back to the dugout. He broke one last night. Gene Harrison, he might have broken one in the first inning. It sounded like he did on that ground ball. He hit the second. Incavilia doubled his first time up, popped up his second time. When he got that double off the wall in right center his first time, it broke an 0 for 23 for him. Took a huge monkey off his back, really. Too. Gets jammed here and a pop-up in foul ground. Billy Bean stations and catches. Incavilia really got jammed. Kerry Taylor working his first full inning now after getting the final out of the fourth. And he's gotten into the kitchens of two hitters in this inning, both Incavilia and Isaac. Pitchers are proud of their ability to do that, and you can see why. You know, they say that's the big difference with those aluminum bats, that when you do that, it doesn't do you any good. Players can get hits off the handle of those bats. Todd Pratt got a looping single and was called out on strikes. Pratt today is making his ninth start. Rob Dibble got a save today for Cincinnati, but he walked in two runs before nailing it down. Reds beat Florida five to three. Into center field, Bell can't get it, and Gardner couldn't get it. Bell was coasting, I suppose, because he thought Gardner was going to play it, but that was a long way to expect your second baseman to come. Yeah, that ball's Gwyn's if it's anybody's. Uh, and uh, as Andy mentioned last inning, Gwyn's not running very well. Bell plays a very shallow center field, and he just wasn't able to get to this one. But you see where it lands. See, it's much closer to Tony Gwynn than it was to the center fielder. Definitely the right fielder's ball if it's anybody's. How about that circle route that Gardner took after it? You can't blame him. I mean, you know, he, he went a long way to try to get it. Well, anyway, Todd Pratt has two of those same kinds of hits today, and here's Stocker, who is two for two. So Stocker's average is a 343 right now. Kevin got a good hit for the Phillies in the first inning. Uh, he got jammed a little bit, fought a base hit in the center field with two strikes on him. And then last time he hit the ball off the, the foot of the starter, Brokeel. Now to play. Nothing seen from Kevin Stocker so far that you can't like. 
on and off the field. He really carries himself well, too, considering he's a young player. Looks like he wants to stay, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. And they all want him to stay. I mean, his teammates really like him. He has displayed a very fine eye at the plate. He rarely swings at a bad pitch. Those Mets have come back to tie the Giants. It's 3-3 in the fourth inning at the stick today. Out of play. That Lee Arthur Smith wear number 47. Yes, sir. Well, he's in the ball game in a tie game there in the ninth inning at St. Louis. 6-6. Six, six. He'll be working slow today. <laughs> He always does anyway with the heat in St. Louis. He'll be taking some time between the pitches. Stocker is called out on strikes to end the inning. That's Taylor's first strikeout. No runs, one hit, one left. Go to the bottom of the fifth. Six nothing Phillies. This is the new Infinity Q45. Now, pretend this is acid rain. Pollution. Infinity developed a revolutionary paint finish that resists these hazards. It even resists hairline scratches that cause dullness. I can't explain the process, but they'd be happy to at your Infinity showroom. From start to finish. Lease one of the world's most advanced automobiles, now at a very special rate for a limited time. got a group of 25 or more, we'll give you a great time at a Phillies game. For all the details about a special package for your group at a Phillies game, call 463-5000. Imagine the smooth acceleration, the quick response, the high performance of 93-octane Exxon Supreme gasoline. Up to Exxon Supreme and turn the tiger loose. This Phillies game on PHL 17 is brought to you in part by the Bell of Pennsylvania Yellow Pages. No other book can match it, a Bell Atlantic Company. Your local Dodge dealers come in today because we know how to help. Nationwide Insurance. Nationwide is on your side. Your Nationwide Insurance agent in Richboro is J. Michael Winhill. That little birdie has a good view of the ball game. Is that birdie stationed anywhere near where Dykstra's home run hit last night? That birdie's right in front of us. <laughs> right on that guy wire that... The guy wire came into play here last night. Yeah. Dykstra hit a home run right off of it. And Jim Riggleman, and with help from Tony Gwynn, who an umpire told Tony one time that that ball should be in play, and that umpire was the Lord, Doug Harvey, who is retired right here in San Diego. Yeah, it'd be pretty tough to make that wire that the ball hit last night in play with that bomb Dykstra hit. I mean, as far as that thing was going to go. Here's a ball fielded at second base by Duncan. Higgins is out. One down in the fifth with the Phillies leading 6-0. The hitter will be Ricky Gutierrez. He's had a tough day in the field. And Ricky dropped in the lineup today. In every other game in this series, he was either batting number one or number two. Surprising the way he's played in the field today because he has been very, very good in this series. Padres like him. He's been one of the real bright spots to their season. And not a whole lot has gone right here. Base hit the right field. Took a lot of balls the other way, as he did right there. That's the way you have to play him, and he just picked up a line drive base hit on that one. Now we'll get Sinfraco to the plate. Sinfraco hit one back to Schilling his first time around. And Tim Tuffle moves into the on-deck circle to bat for Kerry Taylor. Padres trailing by a 6-0 score. Tim Mauser loosening up in the bullpen. 
Man, a scoring change uh, on the ball at Schilling Bunnett. I think, I think they got it wrong twice. Uh, but the one they changed, they did not give him a sacrifice, which was right. It should have just been a fielder's choice, E1. It probably should have been E6 because Gutierrez should have handled that ball. But right now, there's no sacrifice. A bouncer past the mound. Stocker's got it, gets the out at second. Safe. But they handled that right, though. They got the lead man. And there were two outs in the inning. Nice play by Kevin Stocker. Uh, you know, when you have a lead the way the Phillies do now, you want to get an out. You just don't want to make a mistake and allow a team to get an inning on you. So he gets the out, and then Duncan makes a nice pivot and a bang-bang play at first. They almost got two out of it. Tim Tuffle now to come up and pinch hit for San Diego. He'll be batting for Kerry Taylor. Tuffle batting at 252 with five homers, 22 RBIs. He has not been a good pinch hitter, though. He's just one for 17, and believe it or not, the one was a home run. But one for 17 is not good since Tuffle has done a lot of pinch hitting in his career. A scoreless inning in the third for Kerry Taylor, during which he gave up just one hit. Tuffle always takes a lot of time to get in the box. The Tuffle shuffle, as they used to call it when he was with the Mets. Now that gets him going. A little high. Tuffle is a semi-regular here now. He's sharing second base with Gardner. I was wondering when some pitcher is going to do that to him with all that extra time he takes. 2-0 oh on Tuffle. Yeah, he might loosen the ball. Why not? Good one last night was Mulholland on Plantier after Plantier had ripped another vicious foul. Terry really loosened him up. Strike, 2-1. popped up into shallow right Duncan makes the call that's the third out Padres are down in the fifth no runs one hit they leave one and through five it's six nothing Phillies live from Philly it's Bud Light Recently, an object was sighted. It was big. It was just big. Too big to measure with a human eye. They say it could show up anywhere. Whoa! Did you see that? Pizza Hut! Bigfoot from Pizza Hut. Out of sight, big! 21 slices. I can handle it. On a totally different crust. Whoa! For a ridiculously low $10.99. <laughs> it's a legendary value. Bigfoot from Pizza Hut. The biggest pizza you can get delivered. It's been a record-breaking year at your Chrysler Plymouth dealers. So how should we bring it to a close? With a record-breaking clearance. Enjoy a selection of Concords, Automobile Magazines, Automobile of the Year, and remarkable savings on all these 93 cars and minivans. Get Plymouth Acclaim, the lowest-priced six-passenger car in America, with air and automatic. Save around $2,600. The record-breaking clearance, now at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. to a Phillies game, the more the barrier. Let the Phillies sales office help you bring out your group of 25 or more. Plus, there's always something extra when you bring out a group, including getting your group name in lights. To find out more, call the Phillies at 463-5000. What better way to enjoy a Phillies game than with 24 of your friends? Tim Mauser, who started the year with the Phillies, will now be in to pitch for San Diego. Mauser is making only his third appearance in a Padre uniform, his 12th appearance of the year in the big leagues. Tim Mauser, Phillies lead it six to nothing here in the sixth. And Kurt Schilling will lead it off for the Phils.
Kurt technically now is 0 for 2 since that sacrifice was erased. He'll be charged with a time at bat. And he's 0 for 2, having struck out his last time up there. This looks like a new stance he's working on today. He must be watching all those ESPN highlights. Oh, now he closed it. <laughs> he had that front foot way open. That's for the first pitch. Yeah. This is the second pitch stance. Nothing in two on Schill. Cannot yet describe him as a good hitter. No. Might one day be. And now he's real open again. Look. That's his 0 2 stance. High chop off the plate. He's got a chance here. Since Franco had to wait, he's safe. Infield single for Shelley. Boy, that ball bounced high off the plate. Didn't that, it? that open stance really got him to hit a high hopper. <laughs> I don't know whether Schilling really wants to be on base right now, but here we talked about that real open stance. Beats that right off that hard rubber home plate, way up in the air to Sinfraco, and Schilling hustled and got himself a base hit. That'll bring to the plate Lenny Dykstra. Lenny 0 for 2 plus a walk. Phillies ahead 6 0. Two ninety five right now. Padres look for a double play. Lenny rarely hits into double plays. Well that Houston St. Louis game goes to the tenth inning and the scoreboard totals are identical six runs twelve hits and two errors for both the Cardinals and the Astros. Broken back ground ball it's foul the bat was fair but the ball was foul. And Billy Bean's going to go pick up the barrel Lenny Dykstra's back. Nothing left of that one. Wow. And when he doesn't need any help, he goes back and gets a replacement himself. He's having fun playing today. See, he ran back to the bat rack, pulled that bat out, yeah. ran back to home plate, ready to go again. Sometimes that can take a couple minutes, depending on the hitter's frame of mind after he shatters a bat. Now, when he's you know he he has the potential in this game not to be in a good mood because he's hit two balls hard and doesn't have anything to show for it. Two balls and a strike on Dykstra. Little Reds fan. Honey swings through a pitch. Split fingered fastball from Mauser. <laughs> Is he lost? Get that little. He got a little bit of a worried look. Well, it'll be tough for mom to pick him out. He's kind of tiny. Here comes somebody to get him. <laughs> full count on Dykstra. What else is new? Lenny hits with more full counts than any other batter I can think of. Mets have now taken a lead over the Giants, four to three, San Francisco in the fifth. The Candles, four to three, uh, Mets over San Francisco in the fifth inning. Hits it hard, but it's caught by Bean. Dropped at second base, but recovered in time for the out. And he was taking it out. Oh, that's right. He caught him out, stepping on the back. They looked like he was taking it out anyway. Gutierrez is in a funk today. He's just not playing very well. Smash. Right there. No, I guess maybe he wasn't taking it out. No, they're going to call him out on fielder's choice that way. I don't think they were going to give him that. Gutierrez, who's played so well, just uh, it just doesn't seem to be in the ball game today. And how about Lenny? Three line drive outs in this ball game. That really was a hard hit ball too. Duncan the batter Lenny goes for second picked a good pitch it was a curveball and he's in with a stolen base he's uh, on a different level right now Lenny Dykstra in this game uh, you can tell just the way he ran back to get that bat he really wants to play today not that he doesn't ever want to play but he takes off Philly's leading six nothing and he steals a base picked a curveball on which to run that's his 24th stolen base Lenny is ninth in the league in steals. One strike on Duncan Mariano today is 0 for 3 twice he has reached on errors. 16th straight steal for Lenny. 
Another curveball, foul back. You know, there's a mythical. Yeah, where is it there on where, when you don't run, let's say, yeah. right? Well, where is it? I've never known what it is. It depends on other teams' managers. I know what his thinking is, and Dykstra's thinking right now is, hey, we've been sitting around here getting beat all weekend. Right. Let's see how many runs we could get and then see if they beat you. So he steals a base. Duncan gets tied up. Mauser gets a strikeout. Two outs in the inning. And now John Cruck, one for two RBI single plus a walk. Two runs have scored while Cruck's been at the plate. They're going to walk him here. He doesn't get credit for one of them because he grounded into a double play. San Diego fans don't like to see free passes, I guess, huh? I think they like to watch Cruck in here. As they saw Riggleman looking on a lot of Phillies fans in attendance, and Cruck's still a pretty popular player in San Diego, so they'd probably like to see him swing the bat. Want to take their chances with another ex Padre, Dave Hollins. Bill's fan attendance. There's been a lot of Phillies caps here this weekend, both the old logo and that new one supported by Holland. There was an insurance convention in town over the weekend and ran into all kinds of Philadelphians attending that at convention. Dave Hollins today is one for three. You sell you any? <laughs> it's too late for me, Wheels. <laughs> High fly ball deep to right field, but Gwynn moves back and has room. Makes the catch for the out. Phillies in the sixth, no runs, one hit, two left. Six nothing Phillies. Roy Rogers new family buckets are perfect for busy parents. Pick up a bucket of Roy's incredible fried chicken, a bucket of juicy roast chicken, or a bucket with both. Now just $7.99 each. Plus every bucket is capped with a free flying disc. It'll keep your kids entertained for hours. Okay, minutes. One of the giant chains for Roy Rogers. Yeah. When you choose a family car, you put all your eggs in one basket. So, when it came to safety engineering, Mitsubishi did the same thing. Introducing the all-new 1994 Mitsubishi Galant. It's everything you ever hoped for in a midsize sedan and a few things you never dreamed of. The Galant from Mitsubishi. The new thinking in automobiles. My store is my life. I've given it everything. And to me, there's nothing else like it. At Nationwide Insurance, we believe that every business is different. Each one has its own needs. You have to... They've helped me with my home and car insurance, so I knew we could develop a plan to protect my business. And the last thing Bob needs to worry about is insurance. That's my job. Nationwide is on your side. Today's Phillies game on PHL 17 is brought to you in part by Bud Light. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. Jiffy Lube, America's favorite oil change. And by your local Quality Plus Ford dealer, where you'll find five of the top ten best-selling vehicles in America. Six-nothing fills. We move to the bottom of the sixth inning. Padres at the top of their batting order. It's Gardner. Gardner has grounded out to Schilling and single to center. One for two. That guy just, a little guy just made a heck of a scramble for that baseball and wound up with it. has stopped at Wrigley. They're playing again and the Cubs have added to their lead. It's 12 to 2 Cubs over the Rockies. Rick Wilkins hit his second home run of the ball game. That'd be 20. He's had uh, three and two days now. Two balls two strikes on Jeff Gardner. 
The big good news today, though, is that Schilling looks like the Schilling of old so far in this ball game. Given up only three hits, hasn't walked anybody. Really been in command. Just off the edge of the screen and drop back of the screen into the crowd. Gardner sharing second base with Tim Tupple, who was used as a pinch hitter in this one. And Gardner always comes in the game late to play defense if the Padres have a lead. He's a much better fielder than Tupple. Walked him. First base on balls this afternoon. That'll get Billy Bean to the plate. Padre first baseman has flied to center and flied to left. Billy's infield looks for a double play here. A strike on Bean. Bean came out of the American League. He's also had previous National League experience briefly with the Dodgers, but he first came up with the Tigers in 87. Bean hails from Santa Ana, California. like Jim Riggleman and the Padres are trying to find out where some of their players really belong. They've shifted quite a few of them around. They play Sinfraco at both first and third. They play Bean in the outfield and in first base. They play Clark at first base in the outfield and behind the plate. Looks like they still searching for some answers here. Well they have so many young players so many guys that uh, you know are fringe major league players right now that uh, you know they are trying to find some kind of combination and they've done a good job against the Phillies this weekend. That ball goes foul one and two. You have to remember that last year the Padres swept the Phillies in a four game series right before the All Star break. Yeah, but they had a lot better players then. It's Sheffield going crazy at that point. Griff having a good year. Tony Gwynn, of course. Tony Fernandez was on that ball club. This one hurts a lot more this weekend, these losses, because of the personnel they have. Just a bit high. It's two balls and two strikes. That's out of play. He's making Schilling work really hard. Now it's not hot here this afternoon. It's in the 70s and very pleasant. But he's still having to work pretty hard. That's up high. There's Johnny Padres looking on. Gosey, Lukovic, Dennis Menke. Schilling has had good control here this afternoon and now struggling a little bit in the sixth inning. Runner goes and the pitch is grounded to Schilling. He's got to play at second. They get an out and they get two outs. Stocker's good. Oh, he is. He was taken out but still made the play. He's good. With the runner going, uh, surprised Schilling through to second, but look at, look at the shot he gets there and still gets a lot on his throw. Kevin Stockton, really good shortstop. Nice play by both Schilling and Stock. And look how much they had beam by at first base, and we're not talking about a pitcher running there either. We're talking about a guy with some good speed. Well, that's how defense bails out a pitcher. You know, Schilling helped himself with his own defense, and the shortstop did the rest. Tony Gwynn. Tony today has not gotten the ball out of the infield. He's grounded to third and grounded to first. gotten a piece of crowd on the way by it went in and out of his glove and uh, anybody who's ever been behind home plate it's 
sometimes that ball will go in a glove and catch your thumb. That hurts. Four batting titles for Tony Gwynn. And you wouldn't want to rule him out of this race either. He's batting 335 right now. Galarraga, a runaway leader, but you wonder Galarraga doesn't get any infield hits. Not that Gwynn does either, but you wonder about his experience in a batting race. It was close toward the end of the year. You'd want to put your money on Tony. Hey, the guy I keep thinking is going to win a batting title. We talked about it before the year is Greg Jeffers. And to me, he is just the perfect human being to win a batting title. Switch hitter on an AstroTurf field. He's a line drive hitter, and he can run. Yeah, he, he would definitely uh, impress you, and he's having a good year, too. Jeffries is having maybe the career year that they've waited for with this guy. Jeffries at the moment is 347. He's third in the league. Atlanta Merced's hanging in there, too, since he's turned around just batted left-handed. Mm -hmm. He's second in the league. The 2-2 two -two to Gwynn. That's typical Tony Gwynn. Hit the opposite way. He seemingly can do that anytime he wants to. Yeah, and he didn't have much room to hit it through either. And Holland's way over, Stocker way over, and hits a line drive that neither one of them can catch. His, so, crit his critics, though, you know, and Tony Gwynn has a number of them, will tell you that he's never been the player he should be because he hits too many balls that way. You know, you saw him the other night sit on a first ball fastball and hit it 400 feet. He could do a lot of that and bat 260 and knock in runs. But he's opted to go the other way and be a contact hitter, hit the ball the other way. Lantier out of play. This guy is not a contact hitter. No. <laughs> I mean, he just hacks. He's exciting to watch, though. Lantier one for two today. Singled off Dyke, or excuse me, doubled off Dykstra's glove, and then Lenny caught one on the warning track in center. That Houston St. Louis game goes to the 11th inning, still tied 6-6. Here's a ball driven deep to right field. Lantier is a two-run home run hitter. It's a 6-2 to two ball game on Plantier's 15th home run. That's another reason why Dykstra stole a base in the top of the inning. So he's... Uh, ahead in these games and then the Padres start coming back the Navy enjoyed it Plantier's an upper cutter and he hit a lot of balls high in the air as he did there and hit a home run now Shelley wants to bear down and get Derek Bell here to end this inning Bell takes a call strike Bell has fly to left and get a ground ball to third double play a big play in this inning you bet IBM tail of the tape on the home run, 378 feet. Oh, and two. Derek Bell was 0 for 17 when he came through with a hit last night. He knocked in two runs in last night's game. The Marines are down the left field line. The Navy's down the right field today. Struck him out. Schilling with his second strikeout to end the inning. Padres on the board with their first two on the home run by Plantier. Nobody left on base. Harry Callis and Rich Ashburn return in the seventh. It's six to two Phillies. It was for immigrants and their children and their dreams. It was for families, for new beginnings. And today, there's still just one reason why we always do our best. It's for you. Mellon PSFS. Hey, 
jersey, I'm buying. Hey. I drink Bud Light because I'm 245 pounds of U.S. steel and sex appeal. He's unbelievable. Jersey girls dig Bud Light. Bud Light is made in New Jersey. You know, we own that Statue of Liberty. They stole it from us. Yo, bartender, Bud Light. You want one too, don't you? <laughs> How about a Bud Light? Yo, it's Jersey stuff. It's Bud Light, you know? Bud Light, Bud Light, up, up, and away! Hey! Number one in America. Only your Quality Plus Ford dealer has the number one selling car in America, the Ford Taurus. For a limited time, drive the Taurus for just $249 a month for 24 months. Loaded with value, $249 per month is a great payment on Taurus. Hurry, it's only available at your number one selling Quality Plus Ford dealer. Five of the top ten sellers, all American built quality. See your Ford dealer today. Get behind the wheel and turn the key. A cop killer from the future becomes a chameleon in the present. No one will know that you were once full. And makes Darian his next target on Time Tracks. Wednesday at 8 on VHL 17. After six innings of play, the Phillies 6, San Diego 2. Tomorrow at 8, a son turns to crime to pay his mother's medical bills. Michael Keaton and Joe Piscopo star in Johnny Dangerously, only on PHL 17. Jim Eisenreich leads it off for the Phillies here in the 7th. Facing Tim Mauser. Mauser in his second inning. In relief of Kerry Taylor. Field falling fast, but snared by Plantier in his shoot times. So Eisenreich, a rare hitless game for him. He's 0 for 4, one down, and bring on Pete and Cavillia. Good play by Plantier, who caught it right off his ankles there. Kind of circled it, but made the play. Cavillia one out of three with a double and a run scored. Breaking ball missing. They're now in the 11th at St. Louis. Still tied 6-6. Pops a foul back up this way. Guy sitting right beside us almost had that ball. One ball and one strike. Two and one. Those move from here to Dodger Stadium. Three game series with Los Angeles. into shallow right. Tony Gwynn coming in. And Camellia's out. That's two down. And that'll bring on Todd Pratt. Pratt's two out of three today with a run scored. Tom Pratt. to know Tim Mauser caught him enough. Yeah. One ball and no strikes. Field, it's deep, but Derek Bell makes the grab at the warning track to retire the side. No runs, hits, errors, and none less. Stretch time at Jack Murphy. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Phil's lead, six to two. This week on Married with Children, Al's getting hit up for cash. 
Another Hallmark moment. <laughs> Bud's getting revenge. Humiliated for me, son. <laughs> Kelly's getting a job as a TV weather girl. Look, folks, it stays up there all by itself. Peg's getting a surprise. You're taking me bowling on my birthday? <laughs> and Al's getting crazier by the minute. Don't miss Married with Children. Weeknights at 6.30 and 7 on PHL 17. Do you want your car now? If you want your car done right, bring it to a place that puts its money where its mouth is. Bring it to Jiffy Lube, where millions of cars every year are covered by our pledge of satisfaction. Everybody says they'll do the job right, but at Jiffy Lube, we guarantee it. One more reason, Jiffy Lube is America's favorite oil change. We got experience at Jiffy Lube. long been the standard by which all investments are measured. Yet one group of precious metals has recently set its own standard. The Lexus LS, ES, and Coupe. With the highest retained value in their respective classes, their commodities well worth securing. Whether you buy or lease at your New Jersey, Delaware, and Pennsylvania area Lexus dealer, Hello, I'm Dick Vermeil. Can an apple a day keep the doctor away? They do contribute to excellent health. They're high in complex carbohydrates, supply both soluble and insoluble fiber, have only about 80 to 100 calories, contain no cholesterol, and very little sodium and fat. 6, 8, and 0 for the Phillies, 2, 5, and 3. Those three errors have really hurt the pods today. Four of those six runs unearned. Schilling has pitched six innings, two runs, five hits, two strikeouts, a walk. The three errors, of course, have hurt uh, San Diego. Stockers, two for three, two runs scored. Plantier, two-run homer and a double. That's how we stand, 6-2. This seventh inning has been a nemesis for the Phillies. Kevin Higgins, line drive into center. Dykstra there makes the grab, one down. It'll bring up Ricky Gutierrez, the shortstop. He's plied out to right and single to right. Navy here today, and the Marines are here today. Not a real big crowd here today, though. 12,569 to paid attendance. One strike to Ricky Gutierrez. Missing one and one. Face the high pitch, foul tipped it. One and two. It's pause for station identification on the Phil's television network. You're watching Phillies Baseball on WPHL-TV, Philadelphia. Fouls off the slider, still one and two to Ricky Gutierrez. High with a fastball, it's two and two. Field, but caught nicely by Eisenreich. Two down, and that'll bring out Arky Sinfraco. Sinfraco has grounded back to the mound and hit into a fielder's choice. And the Padres uh, in this series so far have scored 10 seventh inning runs. really been the difference in the first three games. The Phillies carried leads into those into that inning all three games. Kurt Stillwell has moved into the on deck circle. He 
you would bat for Mauser if Sim Fraco reaches. Bellingham two. Side, one ball and two strikes. Well hit to deep center field. This ball out of here. Home run, Arky Sinfraco. His fourth, and it's a six to three ball game. That's hard to believe. He gets the first two batters out. You figure, well, they're not going to get a run here in the seventh with the eighth hitter in the lineup, Centraco. He was behind in the count, a ball, two strikes, and boom. Second home run given up by Schilling today. On the season, he has surrendered 15 of them. Kurt Stillwell coming up to hit for Tim Mauser. Still well batting at 216. Switch hitter. As a pinch hitter, he's six for 24. For the first time this afternoon, the Phillies will get bullpen activity. David West and Larry Anderson are up. Doing nothing. strikes. Three and one to Stillwell. Fouls it out of play. It's a full count. Six three, we're in the seventh. High foul ball, left field side, into the crowd. Nice catch. Stays at three and two to Kurt Stillwell. Still three of two. Slaps it foul past Bruce Bochy, the third base coach. Still three and two to the pinch hitter still well. This date in 1972, a pitcher by the name of Steve Ireland went eight and two thirds innings of no hit ball against the Phillies. Broken up by Denny Doyle. Ground ball to second base, fielded by Duncan, and that'll retire the side. The Padres get a run on the Sin Franco homer, one hit, no errors, and none left. We go to the eighth, Phil's lead six to three. Flyers and a Bud Light. Cheese steaks. Cheese steaks. Cheese steaks. And I'm already with the Philly cheese steaks. Hey. 
Anything goes well with Bud Light. We like Bud Light and Dan. What could four minutes cost if your 800 service goes down? If you're big in the travel business, $240,000. But with us, you can stay on course. Introducing the AT&T 800 service, never miss a call guarantee. Now if there's a problem, we can reroute your calls in less than a second. Sign up for the never miss a call guarantee. It's the number one reason with AT&T 800 service, it's always smooth sailing. AT&T, the best in the business, guaranteed. specially designed to prevent scratches. It's just one example of how carefully we build the totally redesigned Geo Prism. If this kind of fanatical attention to quality intrigues you, we think you'll appreciate the hundreds of other ways we found to build a better prism from the ground up. Today's Phillies game on PHL 17 is brought to you in part by Bell Atlantic Mobile, advanced technology and people who make it mean something. By your local Hyundai dealer, Hyundai, cars that make sense. And by AT&T, because you're not the same as anybody else. There's the iPlan. Trevor Hoffman, a 25-year-old right-hander, is the new pitcher, a 6'1", 200-pounder. He was a key player in the Gary Sheffield deal coming over from Florida. Hoffman has won two, lost three, saved two, including his work with Florida. His ERA is 4.74. pick in the first round by the Marlins in the expansion draft from the Cincinnati Reds organization. Kevin Stocker the first one to face him. Bill Thompson is in the on-deck circle, so Kurt Schilling is finished for the afternoon. Stocker lost a foul down the third base side. And Sin Franco runs out of room. One of one. Stocker's had a good game. He's two for three with a pair of singles, a run batted in, and two runs scored. Schilling did a, a good job overall. Didn't give up that many hits, only six hits, but a couple of those home runs. Two balls and a strike. Balls behind Stocker, three and one. is aboard and Milt Thompson coming on to hit for Kurt Schilling. Thompson hitting a 249 as a pinch hitter he's four for 14. Sacrifice fly by Mark Whitten, seven to six. So the Phils need this one to stay three ahead of the running Redbirds. No balls and two strikes to Milt Thompson. And in 
one ball and two strikes. Bills lead here, 6-3. We're in the eighth inning. everything one strike to Dykstra Kevin Stocker at first with one out Stocker draws the throw and gets back and is locked in the air to left field. Plantier makes the catch for out number two in the inning. We'll bring up Mariano Duncan. Duncan is 0 for 4, but he has driven in a run and scored a run. He has struck out, twice been safe on errors, and struck out. and errors one left we go to the bottom of the eighth it's six three bills something as simple as opening a jar complex. The challenge is making the complex simple. But that's what we do at Bell Atlantic Mobile. 
we take cutting-edge technology and place it comfortably in your hands. Bell Atlantic Mobile. Advanced technology and people who make it mean something. The Cadillac Eldorado has the performance answers to make driving enjoyable. A 200 horsepower V8, an electronically controlled transmission, and a speed sensitive suspension. Eldorado also has the financial answers, because now you can lease a 1993 Eldorado for 24 months for only $469 a month with $2193 down. And with terms like these, they're sure to go fast. Phillies come off this West Coast trip. It'll be a head-to-head -head meeting with the running Redbirds of St. Louis Tuesday and Wednesday, the 27th and 28th at 7:35. Thursday, the 29th, the business person special at 12:35, and then the Pittsburgh Pirates will move in Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, July 30th, 31st, and August 1st. August 1st is the nostalgia game. 1.35 game time as we turn the clocks back to 19.33. Plan to be on hand, the six-game homestand. Watch the Pirates and the St. Louis Cardinals. That will be their final trip into the vet. For tickets, call 463-1000. Mel Thompson stays in the game to play left field. at that where he hit in the number nine spot. David West is the new pitcher. Bat of the number six spot vacated by Pete Cavilia. Jeff Gardner, first one to face West, takes it wide for a ball. West appearing in his 40th game. He's won one loss, two, two saves, a 2 8 1 ERA. One ball and one strike. He's pitched 51 in the third innings, given up 40 hits and 16 earned runs. Has struck out 52, better than a strikeout per inning, and walked 26. Greg Shipley is moved into the on deck circle. The bat for Billy Bean. Pedro Martinez, the left hander, up in the Padres bullpen. Two and two here to Gardner. Gardner has grounded out, singled, and walked. That's moved in front of the Giants now. Six to three in the bottom of the seventh at Candlestick. Gardner called out on strikes. So West continues to average slightly better than a strikeout per inning pitched. Made some great pitches on Gardner. The last two strikes were flirted with that outside corner. For the Padres, batting for the first baseman B, number 18, Craig Shipley. Craig Shipley hitting a 223. As a pinch hitter, he's four for 16. One strike to him. Strikes to Shipley. Montreal still leads the Dodgers 1 0. Jeff Shaw pitching that game for uh, Montreal and uh, Candiotti for the Dodgers. came in in relief, didn't he? Or did he start that game? Shipley's out on the strikes. Two down, that'll bring up Tony Gwynn. Gwynn hit a first ball home run off West. One of the games of this series. Tony's one for three with a run scored.
dirt. It's two and one. Dodgers of Montreal are tied one one. I thought I saw on that board earlier the number 13. That's who Montreal did start in that game. They started that Jeff Passero in that ball game. Of course, he's been in the bullpen all year, so he shall I get, in there now? Uh, Passero did get a start here not too long ago. Two balls and two strikes to Tony Gwynn. He got a start in one in the starter, Passero. Center and slugged a two run homer. Tony Gwen reached out, but he stung it back past David West. Missing with a breaking ball, one and nothing. Phillies have the wild thing, Mitch Williams and Larry Anderson up in the bullpen. Two and nothing. West doesn't get planned here. Larry Anderson well could be called on to face Derek Bell. Play two and one. Bills lead six three here in the bottom of the eighth. Smack to deep center field, but Dykstra has a beat on it and makes the catch right in front of the fence in dead center. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one left. We go to the ninth inning. Phillies lead 6-3. Live from Philly, it's Bud Light. Hey! Bud Light is in the house! I'm talking about Bud Light. Bud Light is slamming! We just want a Bud Light, is that so wrong? Salute. Hold oh, on, amigo. Hey! Bud Bud Light, Light. yeah! Bud Light. The Phillies try to feast on the East when they shuffle the cards Tuesday, July 27th and Wednesday, July 28th at 7.35. And Thursday, July 29th, 12.35 for a business person special. Then the Pirates walk the plank Friday, July 30th at 7.35. Saturday, July 31st at 7.05. And Nostalgia Day Sunday, August 1st at 1.35 when everyone gets a free poster. Call 463-1000. The 93 Pontiac Grand Am. You may never see payments this low again. You may never see a price like this again. Don't miss the savings during the 93 Pontiac Closeout. After eight innings of play, it's the Phils six and San Diego three. Tomorrow at 6.30, Kelly dances her way out of trouble, and at 7, can Buck make the Bundys rich? Find out on Married with Children right here on PHL 17. Oh, 
Marquis Sinfraco has moved from third to first, staying in the game to play third base is Craig Shipley, and Pedro Martinez is the new pitcher. Martinez appearing in his eighth game since his call up. Want to know his record of 476 ERA. His win coming in this series. Pitched just five and two thirds innings, five hits, three runs, three strikeouts, and one walk. John Cruck, first one to face him. Cruck is one for two officially with a couple of walks. a foul down the third base side drifting out of play. Martinez at Las Vegas was a starting pitcher. He was three and five there in 14 starts. 4-7-2 ERA. One strike to Cruck. Two and one. Go the Marines. They're departing here in the ninth inning. Cruck fouls that one out of play, two and two. Six runs, eight hits, no errors for the Bills. San Diego, three runs, seven hits, and three errors. center field for a hit. So Kruk has been on base for the five times he's been up. He'll increase his lead leading on base percentage. To bring on Dave Hollins. Hollins one out of four. Right here against Martinez, hitting 321 right handed. One ball and no strikes. Nothing. Missing three and oh. Collins has been a good right hand hitter. They might give him a light here. a strike three balls and one strike go to first truck was got a step off the bag Dodgers have taken a 2-1 lead on Montreal. That came down the eighth inning. Chase the high pitch. It's a full count. Two to Dave Hollins. Line drive right 
field caught by Gwynn. One down here in the night. It'll bring up Jim Eisenreich. Eisenreich is 0 for 4. hit left hand pitching well 13 for 27 against left handers Ricky Jordan in the on deck circle to bat for David West two strikes to Eisenreich Two strikes. Two and two. at first and one out. That's a candlestick. Have that Anthony Young in the game now, Whitey. With a 6-3 lead. May not be able to win one, but they'll try to get him a save. Popped in the shallow left field. Plantier, after a long run, makes the catch for out number two. And it'll bring up Ricky Jordan. Jordan is hitting at 3.08 as a pinch hitter. He is 10 for 31. Anthony Young has not had a win in uh, I think 77 appearances as a starter or reliever. Straight back, one strike to Ricky Jordan. Bills on top here, six to three. and one strike. John Crock at first base with two down. Crock single to lead off this ninth inning.
side. Full count. I don't know what that pitch is. He keeps trying to throw. It's an off-speed pitch. It's like a screwball or goes away from a right-hand batter, but he hasn't been able to get anywhere near the strike zone with it. Almost like a slip pitch. Play. There it was again. It does look like a little screwball action on him. Full count to Ricky Jordan. Three and two to Jordan. Bills going from here to Dodger Stadium. Ben Rivera tomorrow night against Pedro Estacio. Tuesday, Danny Jackson will be opposed by Ramon Martinez. And on Wednesday, Tommy Green and Oral Hershiser. Ball tapped to shortstop. Gutierrez throws Jordan out. And the Phillies are retired here in the ninth. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one left. We go to the bottom half of the ninth. Bills lead six to three. Bert sells balloons. Bob sells balloons. Bert sells wacky gifts. Bob sells wacky gifts. Bert delivers. Bob delivers. So if Bob's got everything Bert's got, I'm Bert busy. If Bob not. Now, do you suppose Bert's got a big color ad in the book nine out of ten people use? The genuine New Jersey Bell Yellow Pages. Nine out of ten use it. No other book can match it. A ballot Latin company. What would you do with $2,100? I'd look into summer camp. Buy an Accord DX over a Camry DX and you'll save some money, as well as your sanity. Visit your tri-state Honda dealer today. The smart way to go. What would you do with $3,800? I'd take my little princess to Paris. Would you like that princess? Hmm? Buy an Accord DX over a Taurus GL and you'll save the money to get there. Yeah. Visit your tri-state Honda dealer today. The smart way to go. All right, listen up. We have a fugitive that's been on the run for 90 minutes. What I want out of each and every one of you is a hard target search of every gas station, residence, warehouse, farmhouse, hen house, outhouse, or dog house in this area. Put that gun down! I didn't kill my wife! Harrison Ford is The Fugitive. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, August 6th at a theater near you. The Fugitive from Warner Brothers presents The Fugitive of the Week. Baltimore's Cal Ripken is on the loose, dodging the Yankees who are in hot pursuit. They got him in the run down again, and he gets back safely. Mitch Williams, the wild thing, is the Phillies' new pitcher coming on here in the ninth inning to try and tie it down for Kurt Schilling. Mitch has 1-2, lost 3, saved 23, a 3-4-4 ERA. This is his 37th game. 34 innings of work, 31 hits, and 13 earned runs. He struck out 32 while walking 16. David West working one inning, charged with a hit and no runs, one strikeout and no walks. Those will be conducting tryout camps in Brooklawn, New Jersey at Joe Barth Field at 10 a.m. on Wednesday, July 21st. Two strikeouts, excuse me, for West. And at Lincoln High School on July 24th at 10 a.m. Paige McDonald, Jack Pastore, Rob Holiday, Joe Romano, and all the gang at those tryout camps. So if you'd like to 
take a shot at becoming a professional player. Joe Barth Field in Brooklawn, New Jersey, 10 a.m. Wednesday and July 24th at Lincoln High School at 10 a.m. Eric Bell helps Mitch by chasing that high fastball, one and one. Eric Bell's flight out, grounded out, and struck out. Line to center field, but Dykstra there. Bell hit it on the nose, but caught by Dykstra, one down. Padres have announced that they're having a press conference right after this ball game. You gotta assume that Mr. McGriff is departing. Heard before the game that uh, you know Cincinnati got involved in the Fred McGriff talks, and we heard that they're out of it now, back to Atlanta. Bob Guerin is batting for Kevin Higgins. Guerin hitting at 209. One strike. Strikes to Garrett. If the Braves get McGriff, that's a, a bold move for the Braves. Or if the Giants lose, which looks like they might do, they're down 6 3. Braves have already won. Put them eight back. Still nothing in two to Garrett. What does that do to uh, Sid Bream and uh, Brian Hunter? Yeah, that puts them on the bench. Right. Griff ought to hit a ton in that Atlanta ballpark. One ball and two strikes. Checked his swing. It's two and two. Aaron swung a lot of things at that ball. I don't know if he swung the bat. He certainly his body went through. He lost the bat on the swing. Two balls and two strikes to Bob Garrett. Bills lead 6-3 here in the bottom of the ninth. He pops a foul out of play. Colorado and the Cubs over now after two rain delays. Finally called it in an official game. Seven inning rain shortened game. The Cubs pounded Colorado 12-2. That Rick Wilkins hit another home run. He's got 19. Cubs catcher. a fair ball all the way into the bullpen kicks right out to Milt Thompson a double for Garrett Garrett, Garrett only hitting 209 he's hitting about all that against the Phillies he really ripped that ball into the corner It'll bring on Ricky Gutierrez, who was plied out to right, singled, and lined out to right. And two balls hit awfully hard against Mitch. The first one caught. One ball and no strikes. Two 
balls and no strikes to Ricky Gutierrez. Mets have scored another run of candlestick. They now lead seven to three. Three and nothing. comes out to try to settle down Mitch Williams. Arky Simfraco will be the batter. John Krupp had a few words to say to Mitch. No, no uncertain terms. And Padres bring the tying run at the plate. Just hit one in over the center field fence. Bill Clark has moved into the on deck circle. The bat for Pedro Martinez. be a double play and is to end the ball game. So Franco grounds into a 5-3 double play to end the game. For the Padres in the ninth, no runs, one hit, no errors, they leave one. Phillies win by a score of 6-3 will keep their three-game lead over the St. Louis Cardinals. Mitch Williams recording his 24th save. As the Bills got four unearned runs, Padres helped him with a few errors early, and the Bills win it by a score of 6-3. Mitch Williams gets the save. Sunoco and your local Sunoco dealers will donate $100 to the Byrne Foundation in the name of Mitch Williams and his 24th save of the year. Bills win 6-3. We'll be back with more from Jack Murphy Stadium right after this. What could four minutes cost if your 800 service goes down? If you're big in the travel business, $240,000. But with us, you can stay on course. Introducing the AT&T 800 service, never miss a call guarantee. Now if there's a problem, we can reroute your calls in less than a second. Sign up for the never miss a call guarantee. It's the number one reason with AT&T 800 service, it's always smooth sailing. AT&T, the best in the business, guaranteed. protected. Nothing works better on your car's leather, vinyl, and rubber. It can turn just about anything into a great-looking car. Nice car. What, this pile of junk? Give it the gun with Son of a Gun. Son of a Gun and One-Step Tire Care. Now available at Pep Boys. It's been a record-breaking year at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. So how should we bring it to a close? For the record-breaking clearance. Enjoy a selection of Concord's Automobile Magazine's Automobile of the Year and remarkable savings on all these 93 cars and minivans like roomy Plymouth Voyager. Save thousands. Save up to $1,900 on the sporty Plymouth Duster and up to $1,325 on the luxurious LeBaron Convertible. The record-breaking clearance now at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. Imagine the smooth acceleration, the quick response, the high performance of 93 octane Exxon Supreme gasoline. Move up to Exxon Supreme and turn the tiger loose.
Back at Jack Murphy Stadium, the Phillies over the Padres by a score of 6-3. The winning Phils had six runs, nine hits, no errors, leaving nine. San Diego, three runs, eight hits. They committed three errors that were costly. And five men left. Kurt Schilling, the winner, nine and six. That halts a personal five-game losing streak for Schilling. And the loss goes to Doug Brokale. He is two and five. Mitch Williams, his 24th save as the Phils salvaged one here at San Diego and stay three games ahead of the St. Louis Cardinals who won in 11 at St. Louis today. Kevin Stocker came to the play with runners at first and third, nobody out in the second, and dropped this single into right center field. It played at Pete Incavillia and kept two men on base, still nobody out in that inning. Kurt Schilling down to bunt, bunts the ball. Brokale had a play at third, but the ball soars by Gutierrez for an error. And a run scored on that. Lenny Dystra followed with a walk. And then Mariano Duncan hit the ball on the right side. Still nobody out of the inning, and Gardner juggles this one. So another run scored. Made it 3-0. John Cruck hit it sharply, but into a double play, scoring the fourth run of the inning, and the Phillies led it by a score of 4-0. Then John Cruck, a wild pitch, enabled... Kevin Stocker to score and then Crux singled sharply to left field. He was on base four of his five times up and drove in another run. Mariano Duncan scoring and the Phils had a 6 nothing lead. Phil Plantier smoked a ball into right field for a two run homer. That made it 6 to 2. Phil still leading by four and Arky Sinfraco went deep on Kurt Schilling in the seventh inning over the center field fence. But Mitch Williams got his 24 save. Had runners at first and second, one out in the ninth inning, but Sin Fraco grounds into a 5-3 double play to end the game. And Mitch Williams ends up with his 24 save. Kurt Schilling wins his ninth ball game as the Phils win it by a score of 6-3. We'll be back with more from Jack Murphy Stadium right after this. Bud Light. Give me the flyers and a Bud Light. Cheesesteaks. 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 And I'm already with the Philly cheesesteaks. Hey. Anything goes well with Bud Light. We like Bud Light and Dan. Hey. Bud Light. Bartender, we need a Bud Light. Hey. What could four minutes cost if your 800 service goes down? If you're big in the travel business, $240,000. But with us, you can stay on course. Introducing the AT&T 800 service, never miss a call guarantee. Now if there's a problem, we can reroute your calls in less than a second. Sign up for the never miss a call guarantee. It's the number one reason with AT&T 800 service, it's always smooth sailing. AT&T, the best in the business, guaranteed. It's often taken for granted. Yet it's as precious as the very air we breathe. It's called freedom. And it's what inspired Independence Blue Cross and Pennsylvania Blue Shield to create the new personal choice, a health plan that offers people the low costs of an HMO without asking them to give up what they value most, their freedom. Personal choice, the health plan that controls costs, not people. Son. Back at Jack Murphy Stadium in San Diego when the Phillies arrived in San Diego on Wednesday night, all the talk here was that Fred McGriff was going to be traded. It has finally happened to the Atlanta Braves as expected. Only the players that the Padres got really not what was expected. You heard the names of Ryan Klesko and a fine catcher in the Braves farm system. Not so. They got outfielders Melvin Nieves and Vince Moore and pitcher Donnie Elliott. Elliott was the pitcher that the Phillies had for a while prior to the Ben Rivera deal. Uh, and then the Phillies got Ben Rivera for Donnie Elliott. And uh, he is now coming over to San Diego. But uh, Fred McGriff, Whitey, is in fact traded. Yeah, and that's that ought to, that has to help the Atlanta Braves going down the stretch. You know, two years ago, the Braves were 10 games back at the All-Star break, 
And now they're eight games back uh, after today. But uh, I would have to say they have to be a little disappointed in what they got from a griff. Uh, now this Nieves and, uh, and, uh, and Elliott are ranked high in the Braves organization. Elliott, a pitcher, of course, at uh, Richmond. But, uh, you know, they were talking about uh, a great first base prospect and a great catching prospect that, that they wanted to get. And they didn't get those two. I, and none of these three players will report to the uh, San Diego Padres. They're all going uh, to the minor leagues, two of them to Las Vegas, and one of them even in a lower classification. Elliott was 8-5 and five at Richmond. He had kind of a high ERA in 18 starts, 4-7-2. Uh, Moore was playing at Durham where he was hitting 292. He had power, 14 home runs and 64 RBIs. That's at the double-A level. Nieves was also at AAA at Richmond, uh, 270, 80 at 10. Nice Gordon calling emergency. We've always been fascinated by the way our heroes communicated. Your shoes ring. No matter what, they were always in touch. Well, now communicating can be as simple as we... The Phillies have to face him six <laughs> more ball games. Well, yeah, they're... <laughs> but Braves are not scoring, and they just felt they had to get somebody to try to defend, you know, the National League West title again. It's interesting that... Ben Rivera, who the Phillies have, uh, was in the Elliott trade that went that went to Atlanta. Yes, he was. Well, our next telecast here on the Phil's Television Network tomorrow night. Speaking of Ben Rivera, he'll be going against Pedro Astacio. We'll be on the air at 10:30 from Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. So check your local listings for the games carried in your area. Once again, here at Jack Murphy Stadium in San Diego, the Phils over the San Diego Padres by a score of 6-3. to three. For Rich Ashburn, Andy Musser, and Chris Wheeler, Harry Callis, we'll talk to you from Dodgers Stadium in Los Angeles tomorrow night at 10.30 as the Phils meet the Dodgers on this, the Phillies Television Network. The Phillies and the San Diego Padres has been brought to you by Bud Light. If you want great taste that won't fill you up and never let you down, make it a Bud Light. By the Bell of Pennsylvania Yellow Pages. No other book can match it. A Bell Atlantic Company. By Mellon PSFS, the official bank of the Phillies. And by Independence Blue Cross. Personal choice. The health plan that controls costs, not people.